Drones are awesome and they make you feel like you're a fighter pilot, even with the Mavic Mini. But do you ever run into annoying things like this? Go home. Yeah, so did I, and I got sick of it. So in this video, I'm showing you some tweaks and some tips to get better range out of your Mavic Mini, as well as some awesome, inexpensive accessories that you're gonna wanna pick up. Let's get started. Here we are guys, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Conditions are ideal. We're down the end of a farm road and there's really nothing to impede us or disrupt our connection. So we're testing the Mavic Mini range today. And if you are a subscriber, you might know that I don't really get that great of range out of this thing, maybe five or 600 meters. And that's pretty much it before I run into issues. So I thought I would try and tweak a few things to try and get some better range out of it. So I'm gonna do two tests today. I'm gonna do one initial test just with the drone itself. And then I'm gonna throw on a little range extender that I just picked up and actually see if that makes any difference. So fingers crossed and here we go. Okay, so if you are experiencing range issues, the first thing I want you to check is in your controller's transmission settings. Your drone's actually scanning in real time different frequencies and channels, and from the factory it's set on auto which doesn't always do the best job. Monitor the channels that are around you, and if you are having issues, switch over to manual and set the one that looks the best. So if you weren't aware, some of the recent firmware updates have made the Mavic Mini quite the cinematic little beast now. We're able to take control of our shutter speed, our white balance, and several other things that are very much welcomed. On release, this was pretty much an automatic drone that was very limited. In bright light, that meant to compensate for exposure, you'd often have higher shutter speeds leading to weird looking footage. So when we dial in our proper shutter speed now, we're left with this. So I recommend picking up a set of neutral density filters so that you're left with this. Much better. This is one of the accessories that I recommend. It's a very inexpensive way to get better looking footage really quickly. Because the Mini's dynamic range isn't outstanding, it's really gonna help with the blown out highlights giving you much better balanced footage. Let's see what that actually looks like. Here's some footage with an ND16 filter. And here's some footage with no filter. Here they are side by side. Okay, now let's get back to the main focus of this video and jump right into the range test. For the record, in this test, I was using an ND8 filter, which was obviously not enough for this bright day. And make sure to pay attention to the height and distance at the lower left of your screen. One factor that I did notice that really helped with the range was your proximity to metal around you. I suggest being at least 20 feet away from anything metal, including your vehicle, for the best results. This is also going to save you time by not having to calibrate your drone's compass every time you start it up. And I don't know about you, but it's just something that kind of annoys me. For the sake of time, I've sped up our test about 850%. Let's see how far I made it. Okay, so let's clear a few things up here. First, this is obviously not a professional drone. This is a sub 250 gram drone that allows us to bypass a lot of the regulations and laws set out in a lot of countries. Having said that, being a Wi-Fi drone with very limited capabilities, you can get some amazing footage. If you ask me, there's really no need to go miles and miles away. It's way better if you just plan your shots instead of just flying around getting aimless and endless footage. So it's here at about 1,750 meters, way more than I needed to fly, that I lose connection. Again, if you look around, this is pretty much ideal conditions, and honestly, one of the farthest flights that I've ever made. If I consistently got this much range, I'd be very impressed. But honestly, it's just not the case. I usually average between 5 and 700 meters before I start to encounter problems. But remember that your environment is going to be the biggest factor. I've shown you a few examples of my mini losing connections, even in ideal conditions. But let me know in the comments what the average distance you can get out of your mini. Now let's head back and throw our new range extender on and head out for another test.
Okay, so round two. This time I've thrown on my range extender as well as an ND32, but this time on auto. Just running some tests. Can you spot the difference? Once again, for the sake of time, let's skip ahead and see where we end up. So I made it to 2000 meters here and my drone came to a screeching halt. Not because of a connection problem, but because I had my max distance set to 2000 meters. Like I said, I don't really see a point of flying miles and miles away. There's lots of videos out there of people losing their drone, flyaways and things out of your control. Why take the risk? Obviously for the sake of this video, I set my distance limiter to unlimited and away I went. So around about 2600 meters this time, I came to a stop once again, this time because I was approaching restricted airspace. So I felt it best to turn around. This is more than enough for me, and for the most part I was very happy with that range. Sure there's people that have gone a lot farther, but I can report from this flight and several after it, the consistency I get without connection issues is far superior with my little range extender. For around only 10 to 20 bucks. This is definitely another accessory for the Mavic Mini that I'd recommend to you. Foldable and small enough to throw in your bag and forget about, between the range extender and the neutral density filters, this little machine is not only fun, but a great little filmmaking tool. My last quick range tip for you is an easy one, but it's also easy to forget. At the bottom, in the middle of your controller, is an indicator of where your drone is in relation to where you're looking. You always want your drone to be directly in front of you with your controller pointed at it. It sounds pretty straightforward, but it's easy to forget and does make quite a big difference. And there you go. Wrapping up guys, I really hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and joining the community. If you want to pick up anything that we've talked about, check out all the links in the description for you. And make sure you check all my other videos out on the Mavic Mini if that's what you're into. Like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time, guys.